come tonight. She contacted me, um, possibly like she contacted all of us. The, I've got a, a lot of people that I know in the room and, I, and they're all golden chicks. Like I'd actually love to work with all of, all of you that I know in here. I'm like, such a good chick. And I keep coming back to, I kind of go, how did you know me, Lou? And then there's this story, this elaborate story. She's actually connected with a lot of you. You've got something really amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you've got three kids and you put it all together and it's amazing. It really is amazing. Thank really you is amazing. So there needs to be well, more I, of this I, sort of stuff. I don't get to do that without amazing people around and generous people and generous products and brands. And also you guys, you know, you believed in it. You, you brought my my story and, and I mean it was real, I wasn't trying to sell <laughs> shit. Um, but like you brought it and you went with it and you were like, no, I'm gonna fully commit to this. You know, I'm gonna fully commit to it and I'm gonna be excited about it and I'm gonna have a good time. You know, it, it, it is all a frame of mind. And um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up by, by saying a couple of things. So I haven't talked enough about this. So this is a charity event for the school project. Now, did Nevin end up coming by the way? So she's meant to come, so the head of the school project um, has had a major operation and, and so she was going to send someone today but I don't think she's here and that's fine. The school project help when, the, when youth uh, experience domestic violence situations and they help them get back into the school environment. And we've talked a lot about um, putting yourself out there, you know, like, I mean, really, if you want to take all of this stuff, it's pretty much about putting yourself out there, hustling every day, you know, choosing the right brands, brands and, you know, it takes guts to message someone on Insta. It takes, it takes guts to, to message a high profile person and not feel stupid, right? Um, and that, that comes down to, I guess, pushing past that fear, that fear that we have in, inside of us. And I kind of wanted to connect the two. When you're a child that experiences domestic violence situations and you're in that home, you experience fear. Like true fear and anxiety and it embeds in you and you, you don't even know that it's called fear because you're a kid and you don't have any control over that, right? Because that's, that's the environment that you're in. So I want to end with this, guys. The next time you feel that fear, that tingly sensation in your, in your hands, or sometimes you feel like you want to spew, or sometimes you feel like you want to go to the toilet, um, push past it, because you know what? There's a kid feeling that exact same fear that doesn't have a fucking choice, because it's, it's in there. So you, have, you can be grateful for that. You have that God-given right to embrace that fear, to fucking manifest it, turn it into a massive ball of energy, and hit that pavement, and just fucking go for it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the Thank you to the panel. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.